So we were going to go ahead and get this out onto a desk before we unbox it, but I figure, why wait? I've got the Evnia here with me. So this is the Philips Evnia monitor we're going to take a look at today and we'll be reviewing over the next little while here at GameSpace. Um, it doesn't, as you'd see, it doesn't really come with any of the flashy outward gaming branding that you'd expect from, well, a top-end gaming monitor or even any of the other Philips monitors. It's pretty bland and unassuming and that's not necessarily off point for the rest of Evnia's brand, which is more about uh, performance and inclusion and it's certainly breaking with tradition with gaming branding so we're going to move ahead now and take a look inside the box because why not <clears throat> so let's just get inside here it's still big though <clears throat> so this is our box Inside of it, we've got a manual, which um, I totally spend a lot of time with these. We've also got a quick start guide. That's the inside of the quick start guide. But that's probably short enough that even I'll pay attention to it. We've got a color of calibration sheet which is always nice to see we got an hdmi cable which i'm hoping is 2.1 but it's not really obvious uh we've got a usb cable for connecting our hub we have a power cable which since i'm in the uk that's going to be a challenge thankfully it's a standard kettle lead, so you should be able to find a replacement anywhere. Or, since Philips have thought this through already, it's already got a UK lead there, so no need to worry. We've also got the base stand, which we're just going to unhook here. And it looks like it's a definitely plastic on top of a metal interior which is fine the this is going to take up a lot of space on a desk but i think the reason for that is going to become apparent pretty shortly but we'll go into that in a moment um it also comes with a kind of speckled black and white design which is not necessarily consistent with the rest of Evnia's range you'll see some up close pictures of this either in this video or the full review um, thankfully, it is a single piece connection with a screwless design. So, oh well, although it does have a screw, you'd be able to go ahead and just put that in without a screwdriver. So, I suppose we should say screwdriverless design. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this packaging away. Generally, the packaging has no foam, it's all cardboard with just some simple coverings. So, not too much there that you will have to throw away entirely, which is great for recycling. Um, once again, the stand itself is a fairly unique design. It's all kind of angles here, and I'm not entirely sure what this bit sticking out at the back is either, but we'll see. I guess it's for cable management. We do have a realm... A realm? We do have a section here for cable management, which is quite nice. Uh, looks like we're going to have a standard visa mount will connect to the back of the monitor, but we'll see that in a moment. And it looks like the actual stand itself will just clip straight in. It comes when a grey design, which is not exactly the same colour as the base stand, which is unusual. Again, it's mostly plastic over a metal interior, but it is pretty strong and although it's not as weighty as some of our other Philips 4K monitors, it does have some nice subtle Evnia branding on the side. We're just going to go ahead now and we're going to get rid of the box because that's all that's left and we'll get the monitor itself out. He says possibly So 
So this is the Evnia 27 MC25500. And they've got to work on the naming conventions. This is a 1000 R monitor, which means there is a decent curvature on this. It comes with a 240 hertz display, uh, one millisecond GEG and half a millisecond MSRP. MSRP? No, the MSRP is 449 pounds. The response time is half a millisecond. Don't ask me where that came from. Um, on the front, obviously, we've got the panel with a three-sided borderless design. Um, on the bottom, we do have the main bezel, um, along with a LED and some branding on that. You'll see the full pictures over at thegamespace.com review. On the back, we've got something that is pretty consistent with the rest of the Ebnia range. You might be able to see it here, which is this sort of unusual curved yet angular design it's made up of these square sections along the back. That's pretty consistent with the light system. That's pretty consistent with the rest of the range. And you'll probably find that there is some LED lighting in the back, like along here. We can definitely see some LED lighting coming down here that will be RGB. Um, we've got fans on. Sorry, we don't have fans. We definitely have ventilation, though at the top along the curb and along the bottom we have got well let me see i would show you but i'm having a look myself we've got a usb hub we've got what look like at least usb 3 maybe usb 3.1 uh we've got four of those and two of those are fast charge we've got two display ports and two hdmi again i don't know what hdmi they are probably 2.1 again we'll check in the review um, and we've got a power cable as well as a standard joystick menu button slash controller right here. This monitor is probably going to fall in around the middle of the Emnia series. It definitely isn't as expensive as the top end 4K gaming monitors that you might find anywhere on Amazon or other major retailers. But this at £449 with some seriously seriously quick performance might very well just hit the sweet spot you're looking for so is it going to put up against the other 4k or 1440p monitors that we've had then we're going to find out follow the rest of this over at gamespace.com and we'll have a full review with confirmation of all the specs right now my initial impressions are i'm not sure how this is going to look I'm not sure who thought about this stand. I'm... Maybe the performance will be a bit more cohesive than the color scheme, but we'll see. <laughs>